Hey guys! So, England lost the Euro 2020 final last night and some England fans were so upset about this they decided to throw someone into the River Thames. Yes, this is actually true. Here is some footage of them throwing someone into the River Thames. The footage has no sound, but here it is. Now, I hope the guy they threw in the Thames is okay, but you know what? That stuff's kind of tame compared to the torrent of racial abuse that has been pouring onto social media. There's also been fights, of course, people beating up Italian fans. Uh, there was one video where they beat up an Asian guy who's an England fan. And I would put those videos in this video, but sometimes YouTube just takes those videos down. So there's not really much point in showing them to you. Just go to Twitter if you want to see them. But this is an interesting one, right? This guy from the estate agent Savills. I don't know if you've heard of Savills, they're a very well-known estate agent. He decided he would tweet about the losing of the final. And this guy is a, what is he? Let's have a look. He is a commercial building manager at Savills. And here is the tweet that he put up last night. N-words ruined it for us. He, he actually put that up. Apparently now Savills are taking action, whether they fired him or not, we don't know, but I think his career is probably finished. Um, he'll have to go and work in a racist part of the country. The MP Natalie Elphick put this on a group chat, which was also including other MPs. She wrote this, they lost. Would it be ungenerous to suggest Rashford should have spent more time perfecting his game and less time playing politics? Oh, how snide. I mean, why would you say that? Because when you think about it, what you're saying is, dismiss the fact that Marcus Rashford has worked so hard to make sure that children get fed and get food during the summer holidays and during the pandemic, and say to your friends, well, you know what, he shouldn't have bothered with all the feeding of the children. What he should have been doing is concentrating on his football game. Because when you think about it, right, when you think about it, put it in perspective, okay? Yes, we lost the final. But I would argue it's more important that children eat and live than we win a final of any football match. Football matches will come and go. Children have their whole lives ahead of them and they deserve to be fed, especially in this country where we are considered a very rich nation and no child should go hungry. So I think, what, a, what an awful thing to say. I don't know why she said that. That's really, really sad that she said that. Silly, stupid thing to say. I have nothing against these guys who lost the penalties last night. You know, credit to them for getting to the final for crying out loud. And you know what? I've never been in a football final. I'm sure if I was facing that kind of pressure, it would be very difficult too. And let's not forget, it's not necessarily their fault sometimes. Sometimes it's just because they were faced against a brilliant goalie who just managed to foil their kick. I know that wasn't always the case, but you know what I'm saying. They don't deserve this kind of treatment, and this is embarrassing. I feel embarrassed today that basically every single thing trending on social media is all about these crazy, racist football fans. <sighs> and it's only Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye.